So I've been seeing a lot of videos popping up on my YouTube feed over the last few days about AI generated art and AI generated images that you can use in your blog content. Uh, people like Below Average Blogger did a video and Alex over at WP did a video who both seem to get some really good and interesting results by using tools like Jasper.ai and Write Sonic. Now, I thought I would give this a little bit of a test because I'm very, very curious. I don't know how original these pieces of art or images are going to be. And if you went to the Affiliate Gavin this year, you can see that my presentation was heavily focused on originality, where I used an image from Canva, which had been downloaded 50,000 times, and an image I took on my iPhone while out walking with the children in the park. And it was clear to see that both images was very similar in quality, but one was original and the other had been used 50,000 times. So I wanted to see how these AI generating tools can actually perform over just getting your camera out and taking some original images. So in this video, I will do a very, very quick test. It won't be very scientific. I'm just going to throw in a few descriptions into one of these tools and see what it can come up with. So stay tuned if you want to see that. If you don't want to stay tuned, you want my initial impression, they're not very good. Uh, I have created some weird looking images using these tools and none of which I would ever consider using in any of my blog posts. Now, maybe I'm using this tool wrong. Maybe Below Average Blogger and Alex at WP Eagle are far more intelligent than me, which is quite possible. And they are using the tool to its fullest capacity. However, I believe if you're going to use these AI tools, it needs to be a simple process. You need to just be able to put a simple description into that tool, click go, and you get the image you want. If that doesn't happen, then I might as well just go out with my camera and take my own image or log into Canva or Adobe and actually just generate and create the image myself very quickly and probably more cost effective as well. So let's see how we do. Let's jump onto the computer now and we'll do a quick test and see if it can come up with anything unique and original. Hmm, not sure we can use the word original when we're talking about AI content. So let's give it a go and fingers crossed we get something half decent. So I thought for today's demonstration, I'd give you a rundown and a demonstration of Write Sonic's tool. Now this is again an AI software tool that can generate blog content and written content but they have also just released the functionality to generate art, AI art and images through this software. Now there are many other tools that can do this. Jasper.ai is another one that I have tested and there are plenty of YouTube videos at the moment from a few channels that I know and respect who have tested out that tool. So I thought in today's demonstration we'll use this one and give you a variety of options if you want to try if you want to test out this AI art generating tools. So if you want to try either Write Sonic or Jasper AI, there are affiliate links down in the description. You can get some free credits to test and play around with these softwares if you use the links that's in the description. So let's log in and let's actually test this out. So I'm going to click into my account and you can see we're in our dashboard here and you can see there's Photo Sonic, which is their new tool here. Now you can see it gives you a demonstration of some of the images that's been populated using this generator, but I think we'll start right from the beginning. Now you can see here in this particular software, right Sonic, you see one generation equals two images, which is the equivalent to 100 premium words. So the subscription you have, you can see in the bottom corner here, I have 17,140 words. So every time I click one generation, which is two images, I'm going to use and eat into those credits by 100 words. Now, the thing that I've found about these tools, the more modifiers you enter into the description here, the better the content will be. Now, the only problem I've found with this is some of the moderators, you need to be quite technical with the terminology that people use for art, like uh, anamorphic images and I don't know, all sound kind of weird, funky words, which... I don't really know. So I'm just going to try and type in some very, very basic words and descriptions and see what it can come up with. Now, I am currently building a new YouTube channel around golf and I'm building a website and I thought let's test it with some golf images. So let's try a um, group of four golfers all dressed in black. 
playing Pebble Beach, which is a famous golf course. And let's see what this generates. So you can see it's actually generated a couple of images, but this is one of the things that I found a bit strange about this tool. If we have a look at this piece of art that it's generated here, and zoom in, I mean, these people don't look very realistic, do they? I mean, this guy is, looks like he's broken his foot or something, and this guy's face isn't even there. So, yeah, I don't think I'd be using that on my website. Let's have a look at this one it's generated. Is this any better? Well, I did say four guys in black. This guy is not in black. Yes, that course does look like Pebble Beach. <laughs> but again, look at this guy's foot. It's, it's actually backwards. Uh, and I don't know what's happened to this guy's arms here. So, yeah, not a great start. So let's just have a look and try something else. So let's have a look at a golf trolley with three wheels, which is a standard golf trolley with no clubs in the bag. So I'm expecting a golf trolley that's got three wheels with no golf clubs. Let's have a look. And again, let me zoom in. What the heck is this? Um, not a clue what that is. Look at his face and, you know, what's happened to this poor guy? I mean, this guy looks like an alien or something. And what's happened to the troll? <laughs> it's just, okay, yeah, strike two there. Not great. Let's go back and try another one. So people tell me it's really good at animals and images for maybe a pet website. So I do have a pet website, hutchincage.com. So let's put a cartoon rabbit drinking milk from a pink bowl. I mean, that should be a pretty image, easy image to generate, surely. So let's generate that. Right, and okay, so we've got a, a cartoon rabbit drinking, I don't know, it's like a cocktail from, yeah, it's got a pink bowl. Doesn't look like milk's in that glass, does it? And this one on the right is a rabbit sat in a bowl. So again, not really that useful. Okay, so I'm going to give this one last try. I'm going to put um, a cat sat on top of a blue car with bright sunshine in the sky. I mean, again, that should be pretty easy to generate. I could do that in Canva within seconds. Okay, so we've got, in this image, we've got two cats. It is sat on, well, possibly could be a blue car. And again, I don't really see the sunshine. The one on the right hand side is a cat sat next to a car. It's not on top of the car. And again, I can't really see the sunshine. And that does look like a cartoon kind of cat as well. So am I missing something here? I mean, please tell me in the comments, am I getting this wrong? And what am I doing? Do I need to put more descriptive uh, information in there? I really don't know how I can get it more simpler than a cat sat on top of a blue car in the sunshine. I mean, don't get any simpler than that. Now here it says, try an example. And this shows you Darth Vader eating a banana in a desert, neoclassical painting. You see, I don't know what a neoclassical painting is. So let's just generate and see what that makes. So their example that they've asked us to use should be Darth Vader eating a banana. And if we look at this image here, does that look like a banana? Is he even eating it? I don't think he is. And if we have a look at this one, Darth Vader's in the desert. Yep. Is he eating a banana? Does that look like a banana to you? Mm, not too sure. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to play around with this a little bit more. Uh, you can see in the bottom corner, I am quickly eating into my credits here. Uh, whereas with Canva, um, I pay £10 a month and I could do unlimited images and make them as crazy 
or as cool as I wanted. So yeah, at the moment, I'm not a huge fan. Okay, so there you go. I think my initial impression and my initial thought process around these tools have been actually validated. I don't think at the moment they're in a place where I can warrant using them on my blog post. Yeah, if you have very cartoony or uh, artistic website, then maybe you can get some use out of it. But if I've got a gardening website or a pet website, can I use any of those images? I think it'd just be easier to take my camera and go to the local pet store and take some images or my local garden center or park or garden and just actually take some real quality original images. So, hey, if you want to give them a try, maybe you can get more out of them than I did. The link to jasper.ai and Write Sonic is in the description. You can get some free credits, I believe, to test it out and play around with it and see how you think. Let me know in the comments. Are you using it? Have you got some great images from that? I'd love to see some examples of what you've generated. For me, at the moment, I think I'm just going to stick to taking my camera and getting some pictures when I'm out with the children and on my days off. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.